Hi there. I'm J.D. Beersdorfer, author of iPad, The Missing Manual. While I was writing the book, I discovered some really cool productivity tips that help me use the device more efficiently, and I'm going to share them with you in the hopes it'll do the same. First, say you take the iPad on vacation. You want to relax by the pool, maybe do some reading of ebooks, uploading some photos, just really want to kick back and have a good time. But before you take a sip of that first mojito, you get a call from the office. They need your talking points from the meeting you had last week, and they need them now. Yeah, you could write them up in Pages, which is the iPad's $10 word processing program, but what do you do after that? Does anybody have Pages? Probably not on the PC side. What you can do is you go ahead and you write that memo up in Pages. When it comes time to email it, you have your choice of sending that as a PDF or a Word document. Attaches to an email, anybody on the other end can get that. <laughs> If you ever used Apple's Safari browser on the Mac or PC, you know it's got this really cool bookmarks bar. Now on the iPad, the bookmarks bar is not always visible. Sure, you can get to it if you tap the top of the browser window, it'll pop down and you can tap a bookmark, but say you want to have that up there all the time. What you can do is go into the Safari settings, just tap the settings icon, go into Safari. When you get in there, you'll see there's an always show bookmarks bar link. Tap that on and the bookmarks bar will always be there for you. Now, say you want that little piece of screen real estate back, though, just reverse the process, go back in, turn that off, and then if you do want to see the uh, bookmarks bar again, just tap the top of the window and it'll pop down for you. Another way to browse if you don't want to have the bookmarks bar showing all the time is to tap this book-shaped icon and then go into the bookmarks bar. And finally, there's the iPad's home button. Looking at it, you may think it does just one thing, but you can actually program it to do multiple functions. Want to get to Spotlight, the iPod's Uber search function? or get to your iPod music controls, or even get back to your original home screen when you're six screens deep into the machine. Here's a solution. Customize your home button to have it do whatever you want with just a double click. To assign your preferred action, tap Settings, then General, then Home, and tell that home button what you want it to do. To see more tips and tricks like this and learn how to do things like find free electronic books, run slideshows on your iPad, and manage your audio and video files, look for my book, iPad the Missing Manual, available in fine bookstores everywhere.